Welcome. My name is Alicia Zapata, and I am an associate attorney at Landiger, Verano, and Davis. Landiger, Verano, and Davis is a Southern California employment and labor-based law firm. We have locations in Ventura County and Los Angeles County. We have offices in Pasadena, Encino, and Camarillo. So today I'm going to discuss with you two of the most recent vaccine verification mandates, one being for the County of LA and the other being for the City of Los Angeles. We'll start with the County of Los Angeles vaccination verification mandate first. <clears throat> so this mandate applies to what the ordinance defines as higher risk settings. Higher risk settings include day camps, kindergarten through level 12 schools and school districts, indoor mega events with greater than 1,000 attendees, outdoor mega events with greater than 10,000 attendees. And I think the higher risk setting that will apply to most of us would include restaurants, bars, breweries, wineries, distilleries, nightclubs, and lounges. So why are these important? Well, first off, we're moving into fall and winter. It's getting colder outside and Essentially, this ordinance will require anyone who's not vaccinated to be limited to outdoor seating only. Beginning October 7th through November 3rd, patrons seeking seating, patrons seeking indoor seating at a bar, brewery, a winery, or distillery must show proof of at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccination. Commencing November 4th, patrons must provide proof of their full vaccination status. As a reminder, in order to be considered fully vaccinated, you have to wait two weeks after you receive your second dose of the Pfizer or the Moderna, or two weeks after you received your Johnson & Johnson vaccine in order to be considered fully vaccinated. The same rule applies for nightclubs and lounges. The order highly recommends that restaurants prioritize indoor seating and service for patrons who are fully vaccinated. And as always, the face mask requirements are here to stay. Now I'm switching gears to the City of LA ordinance. This one applies to more locations and for that reason it can be considered um, to be sh more strict. The covered locations in the City of Valley Ordinance include food and beverage establishments, <clears throat> including but not limited to coffee shops, tasting rooms, food courts. It includes gym and fitness venues, anywhere where you can do group fitness classes, including yoga, Pilates, cycling centers, uh, hotel gyms. <clears throat> It includes entertainment and recreation venues, not limited to museums, bowling alleys, pool and billiard halls, live performance venues, etc. It also extends to personal care establishments such as spas, nail salons, hair salons, barbershops, tanning salons, etc. For the first violation of this ordinance, business owners will receive a warning and notice. But for the second violation, an administrative fine of $1,000 will apply. For the third violation, an administrative fine of $2,000 will apply. And for the fourth and for each subsequent violation thereafter, a $5,000 administrative violation fine will apply. I recall when face mask requirements became um, mandated, there was a lot of backlash from the community. There were a lot of stories of patrons who would enter premises and refuse to put their face mask on, which would result in um, hostile interactions with employees. And if there's any way that we can protect our employees from being at the other end of that, um, I think employers should start strategizing regarding how they can do this. My understanding is there's, um, there's an option to 
download your vaccine verification on your Apple wallet. So for facilities that require limited capacity and pre-entry sale tickets, it might be a good idea to start having patrons upload their vaccine verification mm -hmm. there prior to entry. Um, even prior to the, to the entry date, if possible, in order to limit these situations where, you know, someone could potentially forget their vaccination proof. Um, but as always, we're here to help. We're here to answer questions. If you have any questions or concerns regarding how to implement these measures in your company, please reach out to us and stay safe. Thank you.